Today, it's time to make sweet sour chicken. Hello everyone and welcome back to 2023. Now, we haven't been uploading many videos because we had our 1,000 subscriber special in the making. So that's coming up to QMB Australia very soon. Today, we are making sweet and sour chicken. It's a new recipe for chicken and it's something I hope you all will enjoy. And here's our guest chef for today's ingredients. Hello everyone and welcome back. So for today we are going to make sweet and sour chicken. So the ingredients for today are chicken, salt, black pepper, vinegar, all spices mix, oil, for the vegetables we've got tomatoes, carrots, onion, eggs, sugar, soy sauce, and rava. So let's get started. Try right, wash your hands and then grab your chicken, cut it all up and put it into a bowl. Make sure to wash it beforehand. Uh, then we're going to cut it up into small thin sized pieces. This is similar to semolina chicken but it's uh, a bit of a twist and a bit more uh, steps required to make it like a stir fry. And grab some salt and uh, next thing we'll grab some black pepper. Uh, here you go, the black pepper. Only bread is fine and just place that up. Then grab your vinegar, one to two tablespoons of vinegar. Grab your oil. And that's basically it. Just uh, all stir it up with a hand or a spoon, whatever you like. Then grab your carrots and you're going to be chopping them into four quarter small pieces diced. As shown below. Grab your tomatoes. I'm going to put all these stir fried vegetables to the side. Cut those up in small dice pieces, grab your onions, peel them off and also grab, put them into four quarter pieces or chops finally, up to you. Grab your egg, two eggs is fine, two to three eggs depending on your size. I season that with some salt and just stir it up. You can also add some black pepper if you like to enhance flavor. Grab some rava, we did that for similarly on chicken, yeah. just place them on the plate and uh, you need now put your chicken in or reason them first with egg and then some molina. Then turn on your stove, put some oil, let it simmer for two to three minutes until you see some wavy lines. Now that's all ready. Then put your chicken in. Uh, you can put up to 10 depending on the size of your pot. Looking good. Uh, about three to four minutes on each side. Remember, you're going to be cooking this further later in the stir fry. A little bit more. Sorry, the second batch. Put those all to the side. Now, when you're done, you want to uh, you want to clean up your pot because you're going to be putting your yeah. stir fry things later. So a few more to go. This serving's for about like uh, three or four people. Uh, depending, could be like an entree, could be a main dish. It's really all up to you. Now, put your... Uh, Vegetables, just uh, go ahead, stir it all up, and then we're going to be putting our so uh, soy sauce. Spread that all around. About three to four tablespoons for that one, depending on how salty you want it. Otherwise, you can uh, you substitute it with any mayonnaise or anything you like. Grab some allspice mix, you can put in some more, and then just stir that all up. You can add some salt if you like, or some uh, black pepper, totally up to you. Then grab some sugar, add that up. You can always keep adding soy sauce or other things if you feel like uh, it's too dry. Add your tomatoes, uh, add some water, and then you're going to put in the chicken inside. And that's basically it. You're going to stir it up for another three to four minutes. And then everything will be all nicely. On top, you can add some soy sauce or some garnish. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.